Is the Tesla Cybertruck the future of the automobile industry? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa video na ito. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Avam and welcome back to the channel here at Unbox PH where we take awesome outside of the box. And for this video, just like I said, we're going to be talking about the Tesla Cybertruck. First thing I want to talk about is the big elephant in the room. People commenting about the design. It's one of the most obvious parts of the Tesla Cybertruck that people are debating about. It feels very different, very weird, and a lot of people may be on different sides of the argument when it comes to the design. I feel like this is a hype thing, to be honest. Like, you know, ngayon may mga hype sneakers, hype fashion trends, and design in a way is not for everyone. Like, there's certain things that may not fit someone's style or someone's you know, desires in terms of the look or aesthetic. And I think it's the same thing when it comes to this. Maybe for some, hindi siya nag work hindi siya patok because it's not their style. It's very futuristic. Again, it looks like it's something out of a sci-fi movie. Like the future of cars in general, looking like what we only thought it would be based off of cinema and all of these things. But now it's coming into reality. And I think people are scared of that in a way. It again may not be for everyone, that futuristic look. But in terms of the design as well, it's not just aesthetic. I mean, there are choices here like having no paint, just all alloy and, and steel. We do see that there is that almost futuristic look that's not just in terms of the design, in terms of what you see, but even in terms of the application. I think it's also something that they're going for. And the next thing I want to talk about, of course, this being an electric car. Tesla is known for that, is known for diving into a 100% electric vehicle. It's not hybrid. For me, honestly, if you contextualize that here in the Philippines, I don't think necessarily we are at that space yet where we're ready for a fully electric vehicle or you know, charging stations are limited, maybe in other Western countries like the United States, where Tesla is a bit more, you know, like a common thing. More people are getting Teslas there. Because it's new, it's still uncharted territory for some. And that's why it's not something so easy to get into. Especially here in the Philippines, you think about that whole fully electric powered vehicles. I don't think we're still there. But again, there's also benefits for something like this, especially when it comes to the Tesla Cybertruck. Faster torque, there is that more efficient acceleration speed that you can get to a certain mileage in just under a few seconds. So you have that, you have power, you get speed, which you may not expect out of an electric car or a Tesla car. So that's something that I think is being managed here, that is being put together to mend that hunger and drive for from people who want fast, who want speed. Now while we're on the topic of speeds, just like the Tesla truck, the medium mobilis, we do need fast and reliable internet. And that's what Converge actually gives us. I myself, as a content creator, I'm on the go, but I also need to work at home and I need fast and reliable internet speeds whenever I work, whenever I edit, and malaking tulong ulit si Converge on this front. When they already have their plans from 100 Mbps, dinodoble pa nila in a manner where it's still affordable for everyone. So if you want to know more about Converge and their various plans, we'll leave a link down below where you can access all of their plans and register. It's so simple. So again, check out Converge. Now, let's go back to the video. So last thing I wanna talk about when it comes to the Tesla truck is the advanced technology that this vehicle offers. This is really a car or a vehicle that's being positioned as the future. And you can see that in the interior as well. Massive screens, there's immersive audio. You have like, even in terms of the ground clearance, ma-adjust mo yan. And that's something that I think is so innovative and I like about a vehicle like this. It again feels a bit weird and alien and I think that's where people are being hesitant in terms of how it looks. But we cannot deny honestly that this is the future. And the future is happening sooner than we thought. Like it's happening closer and closer and we need to in a way embrace the technology embrace that this is somehow going to pivot the way 
we do cars, we do vehicles, we do uh, driving on the road. I mean, this is a vehicle that's already positioning itself to being a, cha a game changer in the world of automobile. And you can see it from top to bottom, from outside in, you can see all of the little details, intricate details that come with the Tesla truck. And honestly, even when it comes to the futuristic look of it, in terms of the price, it's still a bit out there as well. It's not your typical amount that you would shell out for a vehicle. But again, I think the price does point to all the features that you get. So that's pretty much it for this video. Kayo, and the thoughts nyo on the Tesla Cybertruck? I would love to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. God bless guys and peace.